everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this bamboo stitch, which is a highly textured stitch worked in a fairly open, uh, almost a mesh kind of fabric. So uh, it's the same on both sides. It has lots of drape. Now this is a great stitch uh, if you'd like to work it in a bulky weight or super bulky weight yarn. I believe it would work wonderfully in blankets, uh, shawls, bags, uh, so many different project projects. You can let me know how you would use this stitch in a project down in the comments below. Today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton yarn by Paintbox Yarns as well as a five millimeter crochet hook and you'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a link to the free written pattern, which is on richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. There are many, many other crochet stitch tutorials on this channel, which I am sure you will enjoy as well. Our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of three stitches. So today for the tutorial, I'm going to chain a total of 21 stitches. And 21. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin by working your first bamboo stitch and you're going to begin working that stitch into your third chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three. Into this third chain, you're going to work the bamboo stitch by yarning over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, also drawing it through that first loop on your hook. Then yarn over once again, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and draw yarn over, draw through all the loops that are on your hook. That's your first bamboo stitch. Chain two, skip the next two chains, and then work a bamboo stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, drawing it through that first loop on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Repeat that all the way across, chain two, skip two, and work a bamboo stitch into the next chain. Repeat all the way across and uh, at the end of your work you can chain two and turn. For row two, into your first chain two space. After you've chained two and turned your work, so you're going to skip that last bamboo stitch into that chain two space work one bamboo stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, draw it through that first loop on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four, then chain two, and again work another bamboo stitch into that next chain two space. Chain two and repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working your final bamboo stitch into the starting chain two space. And I'll show you what I mean when I come across. So I've come all the way across at my second row, chain two, and then you're going to work your final bamboo stitch just under that starting chain two. So you may have to pull it back a little bit, 
but work your final stitch just in that little space there. At the end of your row two, chain two, and turn your work. Now for the rest of your uh, pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So beginning with your bamboo stitch into that first chain two, chain two, bamboo into the next chain two space. Repeat that all the way across, working your final bamboo stitch into that starting chain two space and uh, chain two repeat until your work is finished. At that time you can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and enjoy your new project. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, again let me know how you'd use this stitch in the comments down below. Until then happy crocheting! Bye! Mm -hmm.